It is Work Zone Awareness Week, and FDOT leaders are highlighting the dangerous conditions that uh, road crews face every day. Yeah, Beth, you're joining us now basically to explain the request FDOT has for all of our drivers. Yeah, and this is something that really affects everyone because anyone who drives here in Hillsborough County or really around the Bay Area, there's a good chance that you're going to be going through a work zone because there is so much construction that is happening in our area. So there are hundreds of serious crashes or even fatalities in those areas every single year. From 2020 to 2023, 293 people were killed. 277 were seriously injured in Florida work zones. Now, more than half of those crashes were cars being rear-ended. Leaders with FDOT tell me that they make sure crews are taking steps to stay safe, right? You see the cones, brightly colored vests, law enforcement with their lights on blocking the construction areas. Drivers need to do their part as well. So slow down, leave your phone alone if you're behind the wheel, pay attention to the signage on the road, and make sure that there's plenty of space between you and the car in front of you. Everybody wants to uh, see their loved ones the next day. Uh, the Department of Transportation has actually, unfortunately, this past year lost um, a DOT employee in the District 2 uh, area uh, in a work zone fatality. So it's, it's, it's very important to FDOT um, and very near uh, to, to our agency. Now, there are more than 50 work zones in Hillsborough County alone, and that's just FDOT work zones. There's also county and city work zones as well. FDOT leaders say the serious and fatal crashes happen just as often on local roads as they do on interstates, so you always need to be aware when you're driving. Be careful of those workers. Make sure they get home to their loved ones.